crazy. Look at all the ice in my spool. I am not joking with you when I say freezing out here. There's tons of steam rising off the water. I'm not sure if you can really see it in the camera, but it is chilly out here. I have my setup right here. I baited in front. I cast my rods right out in front. And we are going to see if we can call in any common carp. But ideally, what are we here for? We are here for that mirror carp, quest number three for that Chicago mirror carp, that Chicago River mirror carp. So uh, hopefully we can get one today. I have a good feeling we're going to catch carp, but hopefully it's that very rare mirror carp. What is up, fellow anglers? Today we are at the Howard Street Bridge. That's the bridge right there behind me. And we are going to do some carp fishing over here by the railings. There's a nice little point spot down here that's rocky, so if we could find our way down, that is the plan. Everything is frozen, but yep, nice, beautiful spot here. Looks and feels great already. See all the snows melt on this point here because the sun's probably been hitting this point the majority of the day. We're here in the evening time, so the sun's actually behind us over there. But we should be good. We're gonna bait here and we should be good to go. All right, guys, we're down here at our spot. Got some nice toasty gloves on today. There's tons of steam off the water. We are fishing today in the single digits. <laughs> I have to take advantage of them. You don't know how many you're gonna get in a year. So when it's freezing cold, you gotta get out there and make it happen. But I have my rods still up there on the hill. We gotta go up there and grab them. So you guys don't mind coming along with me. headed down the hill guys everything's frozen so we have our corn same as last episode today we're out number three on our quest to get a mirror carp Howard Street Bridge right in front of us I'm gonna open this can of corn with a sharp rock um, bait a little bit and then we're gonna start fishing for carp up we are gonna have to bait some I'll take my glove off real quick so we're gonna bait about that much right here straight out there we got two ducks right there tons of steam off the river guys you can tell it's just absolutely cold cold today my biggest fear today is just these GoPro batteries. I have all my GoPro stuff in my sweater over there. I'm trying to keep warm, so. There we go, we're not gonna fish far off at all, like about four feet off the shore. When carps go down these channels, a lot of times they're feeding on the edges. They're not dead center in the channel, just swimming down the channel. A lot of times they're on the edges right off the drops, just like any other fish typically, I mean. But yeah, we baited, so it's gonna go right there and that's where we're gonna fish. Old kernel corn. All right, yesterday this was all locking up on me. I thought it was broken because the anti-reverse on it just kept going around, but it seems to be working. All right, guys, you saw I baited not far out in front of me right there. So now we're just gonna toss this hook very near to where we just baited. Ideally right on top of where we just baited. And we'll see what happens. It shouldn't take long. Gonna 
hold our line tight so that line, if we left it slacked, won't wrap around any rocks or anything over there. And then we're gonna lay our rod at a flat level here so we can see everything. And that should be good there. While we get the other one set up. Well, we got one on, guys. My rod almost went in the river again. Aggressive, aggressive fish. Oh, man. Didn't even get that other rod set up. I was actually in the motions of getting it set up as this fish hit. Great fighting fish. beautiful fish almost stole my rod he uh, hooked himself see the hook right there in his lip all that bait down there and then he that little hook was sitting there he was not expecting it he all that free bait he was not expecting to get hooked so he confidently ate it got hooked and he just ran that's why you always got to keep a lookout for these guys man they will easily steal a rod let's hook out here Helicopters are following me. Alrighty, guys. Beautiful Chicago River common carp. We're out here in the single digits today. It's really, really cold. Um, there's steam rising off him. I don't know if you could even see that. But we're not even in the sunlight. We're not too far from the warm water discharge here at Howard, though. We are right off the Howard Street Bridge. Beautiful fish, not a mirror carp, but we'll continue our quest. All right, guys, see right here, I'm just balancing right on his belly, balancing his whole body. And a lot of times they stay tame because they're comfortable going in. I'm not sure if you could see, but with this 20 pound test uh, Power Pro, which is what this line is, it's constantly freezing, so it's like you have to keep it in the water. <laughs> it's our little size 12 hook, man. Their mouths are so soft that you don't need much. That little point got so buried in his lip. So we're gonna continue to try to get the other rod set up, but so far, one on. Awesome. Oh, everything's frozen. All right, guys, remember, we're not randomly casting here. Every time we cast, we're trying to stay as close to that chum that we did as possible. All right, we're not wasting time out here. We're trying to catch fish, right, guys? The net's frozen. Everything's just frozen. Everything's just frozen. Oh, 
Isn't that so great, guys? We got here at about 2.08. 2.08 p.m. Right now it's about 2.40. And this is our second fish on. Second carp on. That is so great. Oh. Whoa. By now you know the drill, so let's go check it out. This guy had a lot of fight in him. <sighs> chill out, buddy, chill out. I don't know if he's never been caught before or what, but this one is not easy to control. You see the hook right there on the side mouth, and that does count. So, um, a lot of times they're down there and they're feeding on all the corn, and they just happen to brush up against your hook on the bottom. And because the sides of their mouths and stuff is so soft, they end up getting hooked. And that's a lot of times when you'll get those runs. Most all the time, that's when you'll get those runs. They kind of hook themselves without realizing it. And then once they feel that sharp hook, it shocks them and they just go. <laughs> Beautiful Chicago River fish. Quest for a mirror number three. Not a mirror, but a beautiful fish. We're out here. We're out here in the single digits, guys. Absolutely freezing, though. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. These carp are keeping me really warm. <laughs> Going in for the release. This guy's a little bit harder to control, but we're going to try to balance him on the belly as well. Most times when you do this, they do stay pretty controlled. I know that last video I was showing you guys that uh, coconut corn and all that cool stuff. And I do have it right here, uh, but I have no reason to use it yet. I'm keeping the corn warm by keeping it uh, actually in my, I have a hoodie with me. I don't, I'm not wearing it, but I have a hoodie with me that I'm actually having my can of corn wrapped in to keep it warm, but just regular corn today. Nothing special, just a regular can of corn. And you can see in my hands, I need to get them in the gloves. So I need to get these rigs out and glove up. <laughs> This guy realized he was hooked, he took off. I try not to mess with my other rods. So
parked here. Oh, goodness. These gloves off. I'm not sure why, but for some reason they're always a little bit more gratifying when you set the hook on them. But this is a smaller guy, still pretty, very pretty. And boy, was he a fighter. It's so cold out here. I'm sure they don't want to do too much moving around. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go in for the release. Alrighty, adios. <coughs> Guys, we almost. Guys, this carp is still over there swimming. We almost lost her out on this one. Oh. oh. Unbelievable. Not even a big fish, guys. And we almost lost our rod. Oh. This is crazy. Look at all the ice in my spool. I am not joking with you when I say freezing ice. And that's another small carp that almost dragged my rod in. Things are getting crazy here. My GoPro 8, one of my fears already came true. Another little common carp. Action is pretty freaking crazy right now. It is freezing out here. I need to keep my hands out of the elements and it's hard to do that because I don't want to get my gloves all fishy. Going in for the release. Almost lost my big rod on this little carp, guys. Just please watch your rods. This is crazy. Going in, guys. Oh yeah guys, there we go, there we go, we wanted to finish it out with one, and it is not very easy to get it man, oh, he just I think snapped me off, wait what just happened, I don't know what just happened, he went into some kind of cover, oh man that's so heartbreaking guys, we cannot leave until we get another one cannot leave. I'm over here setting goals within goals. We're here to get a mirror carp, but now I can't leave until I catch another carp. Man, that was heartbreaking. Ah. So it seems like I found them. It's been a little bit since I've actually hooked and caught one. Hooked and lost one, but it's been a little bit since I caught one. They're in the same area, but it seems like they're like three feet further out for some reason, just a little bit deeper. Maybe because that sun's disappeared completely. It's only six degrees now. And you can feel it. <laughs> it is chilly. I have to keep breaking ice on my guides by like running my line through it. It's just wild, man. I feel like I'm ice fishing. All right guys, so the coconut corn is the only thing I have that's not frozen. We're throwing that on these rods. Like I said, I lost the fish at the end there. <laughs> so we're gonna get one before we leave. We're gonna send it out with one of these, uh, hopefully a mirror carp, but 
we're going to send it out with another fish. And I'm not leaving until we get another fish. I do not do well with lost fish. Got to make several casts because there's so much ice on the line. I got to break up all the ice and make a cast. Wow. Oh, guys, we have one on. I just lift it up. I just happened to lift up and there was a fish on this one. <laughs> and that's all we wanted to do was catch one more to send it out. So great. And it is not the prestigious and rare mirror carp. It is just a common carp, but still nonetheless, very fun. Very, very fun. It's a little one. The hook actually just came out of them, but we're motivated, guys. We're motivated. <laughs> little common carp, beautiful fish. It's going to send us out. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. We're going in for the release, guys. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Please subscribe. We'll see you guys very soon with number four of our quest to catch a mirror carp. It is freezing out here. We wanted to send it out with one more. Whew. So glad we got it done because I did not want to call off at work tomorrow. <laughs> Woo! Happy fishing. Peace. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. We didn't have much sunlight today, but we had tons of that right there, that moonshine, beautiful.